Good afternoon Mr. Conley, I am Tony the emergency department nurse. What brought you in today? I cannot breathe properly. I was in the hospital recently and got sent home with a bunch of new pills. I got so confused with them all that I just took my old medications. One medicine says to take in the morning and evening but I stay up late and wake up afternoon so I only take that once a day. I also seem to have lost my strength since being in the hospital. They suggested I go to the nursing home for therapy but this scared me. Maybe it would have been a good idea. Well, let me get your vital signs and then I will get the doctor in to see you. Hello Dr. Larson, the patient in room 5 is ready for you. He is short of breath. His pulse ox is 95 and vitals are stable. Per protocol an EKG and chest x-ray will be done. Off I go to save the day. Good morning Mr. Connelly. You look familiar. Didn't I care for you last week? You sure did. You really helped me and you were so kind. I think I messed up with my medications and now I feel the hard breathing starting again. We have a special program for patients who were recently hospitalized. Let me go get that started. I will be right back. Angie and Kathy, we have a possible readmission. Quickly please activate a code R. Code R. -R. Who called for a pirate? Did someone call for a Republican? Who called for the robot? What is this? Halloween. We have a possible readmission. Angie, you keep working on those level of care decisions with a creativity. Kathy, can you help here? Don't worry Dr. Larson, your trusty emergency department case manager is on it. Hi I'm Kathy the case manager. You were recently in the hospital. May I sit down and ask you some questions? Oh sure, be my guest. Did they explain everything to you on the day of discharge? Dr. Nathan came in and spent a lot of time with me explaining everything. He even sat down. Most doctors never take the time to sit and talk. What about your prescriptions? Any trulbs there? The pharmacy had everything waiting for me when I went there but my Medicare Part D plan did not cover one medication and it was $120. That is a lot of money for someone like me, so when I went to get groceries, I only had enough left to buy some potato chips and ramen noodles for dinner. Was that bad? Oh, don't feel bad. Those are very hard choices to make when you are on a fixed income. I saw they offered you transfer to a skilled nursing facility when you were here. Well, if I had to do it all over again, I'd go there. Did you have any trouble with your medical equipment at home? They delivered it but I can't figure out how to operate that contraption. Did the home nurse show up on time and spend adequate time with you? Oh yes, that nurse was so nice and sat with me for a long time. But it is also confusing with the new medications. Did you have a chance to see your own doctor in the office after discharge? Oh, I called the office but they said his next available appointment is in four weeks so I took that one. Well Mr. Connolly it seems we have a couple options. According to Dr. Larson you do not need to be placed back in the hospital so we can make arrangements for you to go back home and get a nurse out there to go over all your medications again and talk to your doctor or we can transfer you to a nursing facility for adjustment of your medications. Well, I was having some trouble getting up the stairs and I don't want to have to come back here again. So how about if I go to the nursing home to get stronger and figure out all of those medications? Maybe my doctor can visit me there. I have been seeing him for 15 years and he knows my circumstances very well. But will Medicare pay? I will check with Tina one of my colleagues but unless the doctors did not write a timely admission order your prior four-day stay should qualify you for your Part A sniff benefit it sounds like we have a great plan let me go get the list of facilities in the area that can provide the care you need and then you can select one I'll start the paperwork and call your doctor to have him come visit you there soon is there anything else I can do to help you yeah keep that pirate out of here they scare me. That request I can easily do. See you soon. Everything is set Dr. Larson. If you can do the transfer and medication reconciliation forms that would be great. 
Remember the job is not done until the paperwork is finished. Happy to help as long as you cut out the corny jokes. This code art protocol has really helped a lot. We have cut our readmission rate by almost 20%. Thanks for your hard work. To learn about the code our readmission reduction program at Centegra Health, go to ronaldhirsch.com and click on the red code R button.